Bible His Stories. Hello, and welcome to this special sport relief edition of Horrible Histories. Now, all modern sports have evolved through history. Snooker, for example, comes from uh, billiards a game of which Mary, Queen of Scots, was an enormous fan. Indeed, after her execution, Mary's headless body was wrapped in a billiard table's cloth. <laughs> Billiards actually developed from an outdoor game played on grass. Boxing also took place on turf, till the Marquis of Queensbury rules were introduced in 1867. And that's not the only thing that's changed about boxing over the years. Hello and welcome to Historical Boxing. We are ringside and what a lineup we have for you this evening, Steve. That's right, John. Well, tonight, defending his historical boxing title, we have Olympic medal winner and world-class fighter Amir Khan. That's right. And uh, just last week, Amir took on ancient Greek Damoxenos, who uses a vicious mix of wrestling and boxing known as Pankration. Let's remind ourselves how he got on. I'm gonna jab you in the ribs with my sharpened fingernails and pull out your innards. I'm gonna rip out your belly, yeah? I'm gonna do a little dance on your guts. I'm gonna go skip in with your in oh. Cold in here, isn't it? No, oh, not Damoxenos' finest hour, Steve. An hour? That was barely a minute. Dreadful. So let's see how the next contender gets on. All the way from Georgian England, it's naval boxing champion Abel Seaman Bob. Darn rigging. That's a funny looking bottle of rum you got there, boy. It's not rum, it's energy drink. Mm, which one of you said that? Well, I can't fight him. Don't worry, laddie, I'll go easy on you. Ooh, ooh, boy, ooh. Oh, hey now! Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm boxing. Who oh, no, we're gonna box properly. Like George and Sailors. Terry! What on earth's going on, Steve? Well, John, bored George and Sailors stuck in harbour would indulge in something called milling. Basically, they would sit straddling sea chests, be covered in chains to stop them from moving, and then beat the living daylights out of each other. Oh, I've never seen that before. It must be on pay-per-view. Mm. Right. Fancy me for shot. Well, the good news for Amir is that with Bob out like a light, victory is once again his. And what's the bad news, John? Man, he's dribbling on me. He's dribbling on him, apparently. He's dribbling. And on the subject of dribbling, of a far more attractive kind this time, we turn to football, which wasn't always the beautiful game. Referees weren't introduced until 1891. Just imagine the game before then, there'd be nobody to hurl abuse at. Way back in Tudor times, football was really violent. Well, I'm delighted to be joined here by a player often described as being to football what Jermaine Defoe is to football. It's Jermaine Defoe. So, Jermaine, big match in prospect today. I believe this is the first time that you face the Tudors. Who? The Tudors from the Tudor era. What? Oh, here they come now. <laughs> so, Ken, how are the Tudors feeling about the match today? Well, pretty excited. The whole village has turned out today, so... Great, great to have so much support. Uh, they're not supporters, they're playing. The entire village? That's right, yeah. In Tudor football, the whole village takes on the whole of another village. Although, apparently, today we're going to be playing against two villages, Tot and Ham. Tottenham? Yeah, that's what he said, mate. Oh, nice to meet you, by the way. What number are you? 18. All oh, right. I'm 316, he's 317, he's 318, and then we lost count. Yeah, we're playing classic Tudor football rules today. It's basically as many men as you can muster. You've got to kick the ball through the cemetery gates of the opposing village. It goes without saying violence, foul play, bad language are strictly encouraged. Except we can't use weapons. Health and safety gone mad. Don't get me started. I don't suppose this is the type of football you're used to playing, Jermaine. Nonsense! Football's football, right, Jermaine? What position do you play? Striker. Yeah, well, I'm a striker too. And I'm going to strike you, and I'm probably going to strike him, and I may headbutt him if I can reach him. He will as well. He's a nutter. Right, well, I think we're just about to kick off now because here comes the ref with the ball. <laughs> yo, yo. That's the ball. Yeah, it's your classic inflated pig's bladder. Oh, sorry, there's still some blood on that. What, from the pig? No, no, no. From the last team we beat. And when I say beat, I mean beat. Leave it to the kickoff, Ken. Now, listen. 
I want a good, clean game, but I'm told that's not going to happen, so I'm out of here. Good luck, Jermaine! Oh. Get in! Oh. Oh.